expect a season like this where you guys take the step forward to be in the playoffs for the first time of this era of team. How do you build off of that? What are the next steps for you, to you, to this group? Well, for the first very important step is to um, begin recruiting Pascal Siakam in earnest. You know, that will start today with exit meetings. Um, he is a, he's a great player. He was tremendous for us. Um, the acquisition uh, of him in, you know, late January um, really was – a key enabler for us to not only make the playoffs, but be able to advance in the playoffs. Um, and so that's something that you just simply cannot take for granted. You know, you trade for a guy, he has a good experience, but you know, you gotta, you gotta let him know uh, how important he is. And so um, that will, uh, we've, we've been doing it all along really, but today is more of a, hey, you know, uh, you're our guy. Uh, one thing he said was that um, it, when you get this far, you know, sometimes you can feel like, okay, like you're going to get back there again. And it's important to remember that it's that hard to get here uh, in the first place. I mean, what, um, you know, what, how important is it for just the guys to take that lesson as well, that you don't obviously start in this position uh, next year? And what are most important things you look at and say, these, these are the areas where we've got to get better to at least get back and take a next step? Yeah. Um... You know, the same way you can't take for granted that a player like Pascal is going to automatically just want to be back. Um, you can't make any assumptions about the fact that you get to the conference finals one year. That means you're going to just get there the next. That's obvious. Um, you know, a year ago, we sat uh, internally and talked about a plan to reach the Eastern Con Conference finals within three years. And so it, it happened in one year. Now this is, this is year two of a rebuild. Um, this has been accelerated uh, significantly by a couple of things. The acquisition of Tyrese Halliburton, which, which changed the trajectory uh, dramatically, and the, the acquisition of Pascal. And the fact that all these, all these pieces fit well together um, put us in a, in a strong position this year. So a lot's been learned. Um, guys that have been first time playoff players have learned about the intensity, the road environment, um, the physical and mental, mental demands of playing every other day with um, elevated competition virtually, you know, virtually every week. Um, and so a lot, will, a lot will be taken from that. Um, you know, I, I've, been, I've been very forthright about the fact that we're, a, we're a, a small market franchise, but we have big dreams. You know, when we qualified for the playoffs after beating Atlanta in the last day of the season, I, I was very, um, very steadfast about what our attitude needed to, to be going into it, that we just weren't simply just happy to be there. Um, and... And that's and that's it's and it's important to to be vigilant about those feelings. That said, th this is a league that is um, more even from top to bottom than it's ever been. Um, the margins are very slim. Um, you know, you go into a game seven in New York City in Madison Square Garden. Um, you know, you've got to play at the highest possible level, and, and our guys did. I'm so proud of what they did that day and set, a, set an all-time playoff record for offensive efficiency it was amazing. It was amazing. But those things don't guarantee anything the following year. You know, so um, those experiences will give this team uh, a tremendous amount of confidence going forward, um, but no guarantees. building this into what you wanted it to be long term? Well, Chad's going to speak to you guys later on today, and he can speak more to the personnel side of it. You know, my, my feelings are that 
the most rewarding part of this job has been the player development aspect of it. The relationships and the development of, of young guys, um, guys like Namhard and Matherin. You know, I, I see Miles Turner still as a, as, a, as, a, as a younger veteran player that's still developing. Tyrese has, has gotten better. Um, you know, Pascal has, 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 has developed within our system. Um, and so, you know, Isaiah Jackson, you know, Jalen Smith, you know, you go right down the list. Obi Toppin had an amazing year with us and, and took, you know, incredible strides. And so um, when you're a small market team, you, you've got to be there, – there are certain things you've got to be great at. You've got to be great at player development. You've got to develop a defensive system that's consistent. We took strong steps to, toward doing that. Um, you know, in December, and we won the, the two series that we won with um, intense full court pressing defense. And we, you know, we really worked and wore both of those opponents down. Um, you know, we, we, because we play a fast pace, you know, we weren't holding teams in the 80s or anything like that, but we were playing a style and it, with a physical persistence that was a winning formula. And so, Tons of credit to our players for their willingness to give everything. I mean, they gave everything to this season and to this playoff run. Um, you know, the losses in the games against Boston were very disappointing, um, but Boston was opportunistic. They have they have great talent, and they made hellacious plays to win those games. And so, you know, you, you got to take your hat off to them and. And we learn things by going through those experiences. You actually talked about the defense at length there. I mean, what, where do you see, I guess, the, the most, what do you think are the most important strides you need to make going forward on that end? I mean, where, where how far do you, you've, you've talked a lot about the progress that you made during the course of this season. Where do you feel like is kind of the next step for this group defensively? What's the most important, or, or the most important things you need to see as you try to get better on that end? Well, we need, the, the understanding that it's, it's a mainstay as an important part of what we're doing. Um, Tyrese made a lot of, lot, a, a lot of strides defensively. Um, I thought that he really battled in all these series and, they, and teams were really attacking him because they know he's, he's our best player, most important player. But, you know, he, he showed that he can hold the line and that, and that he can do it. And that we can that, and that we can win in the playoffs. Um, going into this summer, you know, when we talk to our guys in exit meetings, a, a lot of the talk is going to be about um, getting the right amount of rest, and then continuing to develop strength, durability, and then mental toughness comes with as you build those things. Um, certainly, the the experience in the playoffs um, is, is another contributor to. You know, just just a um, you know a, a, a defiant attitude competitively for for this group, and so those are the important things. Um, you know, your best players have to have to lead the charge on the things that are the most important things. And you know, I thought I thought uh, Tyrese, Pascal, and Miles all really were were right there with us, you know, selling the importance of defense and, and, and intensity and full commitment. In what way was this season fulfilling for you personally in terms of getting to the conference finals, but also having those opportunities to do those player development things, like you said, and those one-on-one -on -one moments with younger players? Yeah, just, you know, the relationships here are just amazing. You know, working with a guy like Tyrese is, you know, it's it's second to none. Um, you know, Pascal came in, and you know, he he's a he's an he's an amazing person from a from a different background, with a different set of experiences in his past, and just listening to him, and and you know, a guy like that coming from a situation in Toronto that has a different style has great has great wisdom, has great wisdom, and you know. Bridging, bridging the and, and filling in the gaps between um, the things that, 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 that they successfully did there and the things that we need to do differently here, um, 
you know, those conversations were great. And, and there, there, was, there, was, there was a real uh, collaborative um, spirit there, you know, with, with Pascal. And he, he was amazing, man. He was, just, he, was just, he was just tremendous. And so, and, you know, I just, you know, I, I just have a lot of love for Miles Turner. I, I just, you know, for what he stands for, what he's done here, what he's been through. Um, he's very special. I mean, seven-foot guys that, that protect the rim that can make threes, can make mid-range shots, um, and that have his level of character um, aren't growing on trees. And, you know, there was, there's been a lot of talk over the years about, you know, um, trading him, this, that, and the other. Um, I'm so glad that the decision was made by, the, by, the, by Kevin and Chad and the organization to, to, to stay with Miles. Um, uh, you know, the moves that were made with Tyrese coming on board, uh, Miles going to center full time was a was a huge was a huge lift, not only to Miles, but to this franchise as well. And so um, but again, I just you know, I, I get back to the relationships with the players and then my staff has been tremendous. I mean, when you talk about player development, um, you know, Lloyd, Jenny, Mike, uh, Jim Boylan, um, you know, player development guys, uh, Gennaro, Pargo, uh, Isaac Jacob, Jacob and, and Mo Baker, uh, Zach Chu. These guys have just been, you know, tremendous. And, and they're with our players all the time, all the time. Keep constantly communicating, constantly listening, and, and, and just building a lot of sweat equity by being on the floor with these guys. You made a point of mentioning last night Tyrese being in the, uh, you know, playing for the Olympic team, obviously, and Andrew doing as well for Team Canada. What... Uh, just what do you want to see, I guess, from them, or what do you hope to see, I guess, uh, in terms of just development and what that can mean for them, just being a part of those uh, scenarios, basically being a part of those teams? Well, there's a, there's a level of confidence that you gain by being a part of something like that. Um, you know, and so um, that's, that's going to be a given, I believe. Um, you know, I... I believe Tyrese w will be an important part of their team um, because he's such a connector. Um, he, he's, a, he, he's a ball mover, but he's, he's also an efficient scorer and shooter. You must have great shooting um, in the Olympics. I mean, the games are 40 minutes. It's a totally different game. Um, and he played so well last summer. So I, he, he's going to have a great summer. I think Andrew, same kind of thing. You know, um, they they wanted him on the team last year. He he decided that he wanted to to spend the time in the summer working on his game and and trying to develop his game to to facilitate him and us having a great year here with the Pacers. So that's something that that I really appreciated. We really appreciated. And you know, they're smart. Canada is smart bringing Matherin. Um, you know, into the mix, even though he will be unable to play. But just getting, getting him in that environment, um, that will help Ben. It will, it will help us. Um, because, you know, Team Canada has, has, has got to be up there. They'll be one of the top two or three teams in the world headed into this thing, you know, along with the United States, along with Serbia. You know, France is going to be great. Um, I'm, you know... And so it's just gonna it's gonna be super competitive, and those those games are so compelling because, you know, once you get out of pool play, I mean it's one and done. <laughs> I mean you don't have you don't have any you don't have no seven game series to figure figure things out and figure out who's more talented and all that kind of stuff. So um, th those experiences this summer will be very very valuable. Since you mentioned Ben, I mean you you obviously had him around throughout you know this this postseason basically. How, how, you know, how tough was it knowing how much of a competitor he is that he did not get to be a part of this, but how much did you also try to make sure that he was around as much as possible and got to s sort of soak it in from, in the extent to which he could? Yeah, Ben Matherin has a chance to be a star caliber player for the Indiana Pacers. Um, he has gotten to see over the last two and a half months what wins and it is defense, speed, quick decision-making, and recognition. 
And so, you know, his, his workouts this summer are going to be geared toward fast, um, efficient, and quick decision making and, and, and developing defensively. He has the ability to be a terrific two way player in this league. Um, his competitiveness is well documented. You know, they have, they, I don't know where they got this thing, but they've got a, they've got a calendar thing where you tear off days. And so from a, from a certain day going forward, it gives the date that, that that particular day is, but also how many days into the process you are. So they got a thing that is counting, counting up or counting off the number of days since his surgery. So he's at like 74 days now, 73 days. And so and this guy's way ahead of schedule with this thing. I mean, it's, it's been freakish, you know. I mean, and he attacks everything with such, uh, with such intensity. And so, I mean, I, the possibilities are there for him. Um, we'll have a really important meeting with him today to lay, out, to lay all this out more. Um, and, you know, I, I've been saying this really for two years that, you know, everything here has got to be earned. We're not giving anything to anybody. You know, we're just not doing it. Um, you know, he, his, his, place, his place on this team and, and, as, a, and, and as an impact player will be, will be earned you know, as, 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 as everyone else's has. And so, um, and, and I, I know he looks forward to doing just that.